Welcome to the String J Show. I am Brian. Today is an exciting day because we are releasing the Orbiters coated electric guitar strings. So we're going to check them out, run them down against my favorites, the signatures. You know, some people are really into coded strings. Some people are really not into coded strings. Some people need to use coded strings because they have such acidic sweat that they can burn through a pair of uncoded strings in a 190 minute set. No matter where you come down on coded strings, you should hear us out because Scott completely reimagined how coated strings are manufactured. So check this out. So to tell the story of our coated orbiters, I actually have to start with our Foxwoods. These came out in February and they're our very first coated string line. They were a coated phosphor bronze acoustic guitar string. What was so cool about these is that instead of coating over top of the string, we coated the wrap wire individually and, and this is crucial, use an uncoated core wire. The reason we do all this is because I personally don't really love traditional coated strings that have kind of a thick coating that goes over top of the entire guitar string. I find that this really changes the way that the guitar string feels and it tends to really dampen the vibrations of the string and kind of lead to an unnatural, almost plasticky sound. So when we developed the Foxwoods, we came up with this sort of hybrid approach where we could still get the excellent kind of longevity uh, of coated guitar strings, but actually get a very bright string that sounded very uncoated. This really owes to the way that we wind our strings, enabling us to use an uncoated core. Since we wind our strings so tight, they still kind of form an impermeable barrier that protects the core without having to actually coat the core itself the way some companies do. Now, ever since we put these strings out, we've had players asking us, when are you gonna do the same thing for electric guitar? I love coated electric guitar strings and String Joy doesn't make anything for me. So finally, after a couple months of a few little tweaks here and there, because we had the recipes down for the Foxwoods, we just had to adjust it. We now have our new String Joy Orbiters ready to go. These take basically the exact same coating process as we use on our Foxwoods, but apply it to nickel plated steel. I find that they're even brighter than uncoated electric guitar strings, which would have been unconscionable years ago for a coated string to be able to do that. And they even have a little bit higher output. For me, this kind of balances the overall feel between the wound strings and the plain strings a little bit better. And I find that I get more individual note response when I play a chord. I think they're really, really great for players that you know don't like coated strings. That's okay. I think these might even impress you, even if you come from that camp. But in general, I think they are a great option for people who have a lot of acidic sweat that really kind of eats away at strings really fast, as well as players that just want a brighter sound out of their electric guitar strings in general. Either of those players I think will love these strings and I think that you will dig them as well, Ryan. All right, we're gonna start out with some clean sounds and for that I'm going to use the Scythe Guitars OH-19 running into a Silk Tone Amp, Silk Tone Amp. Now we're comparing the signatures, which are my favorite set of strings, to the Orbiters. And we're using a brand new set of both. Brand spanking new put in so that we're comparing apples to apples on this.
All right, so now we're gonna get some dirty sounds, and for that, we are going to run into one of my pride and joy amplifiers in 1985, Marshall JCM 800. <laughs> go the new string joy coded strings if you are a person who plays on coded strings now and you're not completely thrilled with them you should try these out if you're someone who has never tried coded strings before and you would like to try them this would be a great place to start and if you're someone who absolutely hates coded strings but you have acidic sweat and you really could use some coded strings you should give these a shot until next time i'll see you when i see you <laughs>